Migrating data from QuickBooks Online to NetSuite can be accomplished using Celigo's Integrator I.O. platform. To begin with, when a user goes into their QuickBooks account and exports their data, they'll export it. They'll want to save it as an Excel file. Then from there, they have it available to be imported. So here's a sample set of that data. In this use case, I'm going to use a couple key columns in order to ensure new cus or customers are migrated from QuickBooks Online into NetSuite. To begin with, I'm going to go into Integrator I.O. And at the top of the screen here, I'm going to select my data loader option. From here, I'll select my file type, select the file to be imported. I'm going to specify that the file has a header. And that's it for the import piece. I'm then going to go in and configure the application that I want to import the data to. In this use case, I'm going to import to NetSuite and create customer data. I'm going to specify the application to be imported to. I'm going to specify the connection to be used. I then specify the record type that I want to go into. In this use case, I'm going to the customer record. You then have the option to add, update, or do a composite function like add or update. When this is selected, the tool is going to ask you for which fields to match on. In this case, I'm going to use the email field. And I want to say that that's going to equal the email field on my incoming record. The next step is to map my data. When mapping the data, I'm able to load the NetSuite customer form so that I can point and click to the fields I wish to map to. You can see I'm able to go in and I can click on the name field. And then I want to specify the field I want to use for the name. Now, since the customer file has everything in one field, what I'm able to do with Integrator I.O. is I can actually go in and use a function in order to split that up if necessary. So I can go here and select split. So what I'm now able to do is specify and tell the tool I want to split the customer field and I want to split it at the first space. So I'm going to put a space and then for the first name I want the zero index which means it's going to give me the first half of that split field. I'm going to copy this and save it. Then I'm going to map to the last name field. I'm going to use my same split function and then I want to get the second index. And finally I want to map to my email field and I'm going to map the email field accordingly. I'm going to save this. We can then go to the final step where we name this. And then I can actually save and run this now. Once the flow has been completed, you'll be notified accordingly. Then you're able to go into NetSuite. We can look at those records and see our new records that have been created within the system. And you'll see that these will correspond to our imported records.